Hello everyone, this is Maria Lane and I have the um, cup reveal for you for that very long overdue interactive message. Thank you for your patience. Took a bit of a detour as you know, um, and, but I'm back. I feel that the, um, the, the universe is really poking me back into action. I've been getting some really um, strong signals that this is really one of my paths forward. So, that being said, if you haven't seen the choices that I uploaded to Facebook, I'll just give you an opportunity to play along if you would like some information from your higher self. Now, today I have two, two cards per choice. We have the Soul Messenger, I think it's called, and also Message from the Spirit. So, and our choices this week are Clear Quartz, we have some Citrine, and we have some amethyst. So just allow one of those to, um, to come to the fore. Just trust the first thing that comes to you. Now, what I like to do is everything I share with you is totally random. The card selections, the, the randomness of the, um, the selection criteria, so to speak. I just go what inspires me when I make the decision to do so. So, but before I get into the actual reveals themselves, I just want to share something with you. Um, I am offering a 2018 messenger service for those of you that might like some clarity moving into 2018. I've done a couple now and it's been absolutely wonderful to be the messenger on behalf of the universe. And what inspired me yesterday was to actually record the messages rather than um, pass over a little audio file. I'm actually recording a video and I'm uploading that to Vimeo and I'm locking it so only you will see the message and I get the opportunity to speak to you as if you're sitting on the other side and um, it's worked a treat so far and if you put your faith in me I'm not guaranteeing this but I like to surprise people and every now and then for those who who trust me to be the messenger, I'd like to say thank you back. I might put a little goodie bag together. So this is on its way to somebody and we have a bracelet in there. We have a little surprise message. We've got a little Buddha to remind you how lucky you are and possibly one of my drawings um, and something that I've just recently started to do. Now, this is really weird that this came to me. This morning, or during the week I've started a 30 day challenge and I drew this lady and I think someone she has passed over because as I was drawing this I felt that there was an accident so if you can connect to this I'm actually going to start um, tapping into some possible spirit connections maybe spirit guides but let's see where all of this goes i'm quite excited because i just trust the inspiration that comes to me at that point in time okay so now be sure to watch the video until the end because i've got facebook open and i've got some random cards here to my left and i'm actually going to call out a name and share a message with those that i'm drawn to okay so thank you for listening so far <laughs> now let's see what the card reveals have got to say so the citrine, not citrine, clear quartz, if you are drawn to that card, start again, if you're drawn to that crystal, here we go, I get so excited, I need to type my glasses. Um, here we go, the sole purpose card was honour, I honour myself. So I feel if, the, if you're guided to pick this one, you are... You, to acknowledge how beautiful you really are, to honour your essence, to honour the privilege of being here on planet Earth, to really, you know, embrace this whole human experience because perhaps you're, you're doubting yourself, um, perhaps you're doubting the life that you've created and when you can just make peace, it's a beautiful thing to do, um, that you are here, that you honour yourself, things will start to transform. Now, something I'm feeling very strongly about 2018 is that we are going to experience a lot of change, a lot of unexpected change. And if you can be, if you can be fluid, I don't think it's going to rock you as much as it may some other people. 
And here's the second card that came with this choice. And remember, this is all totally random. And how beautiful this connects. It says, be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. And on behalf of Divine, I'm here to say to you, thank you so much for your contribution. Every second that you're here, every interaction that you have with another person is actually helping with the expansion of the universe. So there we go. Be proud and honour who you truly are. I hope you like that message. So the next one, this beautiful little piece of citrine. And the sole purpose card is, ta-da, abundance. I celebrate the abundance in my life. So perhaps you were drawn to this choice and the universe would like you to know that if you're experiencing a lack of abundance in some shape or form, there's like that garden hose with a kink in it and you're not allowing it to flow to you. So can you just close your eyes for a moment and visualize this hose straightening out and that flow of whatever you're desiring start to just arrive. As soon as today, go out and buy yourself a lotto ticket. Your abundance is on its way when you allow it. Now, here's the next card in this choice. is really cool. Before I do, here we go. Who have we got? Kim Bell. I have a card for you. Angel over me. Protection card. Angel wins. Angel wings surround you. Trust. Replace fear with love. You are eternally held safe within the arms of an angel. Okay, I'll do a couple more of those randoms before the end of this message. So, part two of the Citrine choice is da da synchronicity. Here we go. Are you noticing signs of synchronicity? that the spirit world has been sending you at this point in time? Where are we? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In, in reality, they're being guided to you from spirit. And they're here to help you for a specific reason. So even if you're listening to this message right now, I don't think it's by chance you are guided here because there's something contained in this recording that is actually going to help you. Um, okay, so... The next choice we have is Amethyst, one of my favourite stones. Oh, Jay. Jay just flipped around. Um, here we go. So the sole purpose card is truth. I easily live my truth. And what I'm feeling from this one, and I'm taking heed of this guidance that's about to flow, is I don't believe you're being truly congruent with who you are right now. I believe that you're suppressing some things that you're not actually expressing your true feelings for whatever reason um, and for you to really live your truth you really can't hold back you can't suppress um, emotions and I feel sometimes we can be people pleasers and we forsake what we truly desire to keep the peace and if you're listening to this I believe that you know you are being guided to to speak with love and it doesn't have to be a confrontation it can just be you sharing your opinion and saying but this is how I feel and if someone can't accept those words that's their issue not yours but as long as you speak from a place of love all will be well okay and the next card in this choice is Study. Now, I'm, I'll read the words here. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn, whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something completely new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. And I feel that these two are coupled together because I think it's a little bit of personal development that you're being guided to, to reconnect with to really start to possibly honour yourself, but to be comfortable enough to speak your truth. And then once you have got that new knowledge, you can perhaps go forth and share it, like pay it forward with somebody else that may be needing your guidance. Okay, who have we got here? Joanne, Roxanne Fitzgerald. I have a message for you. 
Reflection. Reflect upon and bless all the wondrous times in your life. Give thanks for the many blessings you receive each day. You can now connect energetically to those you love. Simply feel them inside your heart. Life is beautiful. And I have one more surprise. Let me have a look. Which name? Okay, we have... Where are we? Ship, uh, Shipla, where are you? I just saw your name. Hello, beautiful Shup, Shupla. <laughs> I've known you for a while. I'm not quite sure if I pronounced your name correctly. But please connect with me because I'd love to send a bracelet. This is just an example um, over to you for all your wonderful support over the years. Now, final comment is um, I had this thought earlier to offer a subscription service, maybe three or six months, so that I can actually pass on a message to you, say on the first of every month for the month ahead, just to give you a little bit of um, some guidance. So if you think that would be of interest to you, please just leave a comment below and if I get enough positive feedback, well then I will actually um, implement that. In fact, I might even do it anyway. Um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And one more thing, I'm going to look for a random number so that I can share an angel number with us all. And I'm just looking for a number on this piece of paper. What have we got here? 2836. I'll leave the link in this video below. Thank you everybody. Please, I love your feedback. I'd like to um, to know whether I'm on point or whether you, you know, completely dismiss this and say this is just rubbish. Um, I'm open to any sort of comments and feedback. It helps me grow. All right, everybody, thank you very much, and I look forward to sharing another message soon. Oh, one more random message. Nello O'Brien, this is for you. Um, renewal. Rest. Switch off the mind. A short holiday would do the world of good for you at this time. A change of scenery results in renewed clarity and a sense of purpose. Okay, there's my messages. Bye for now.